In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, we begin this new month with the grace and blessings of God. The liturgy of the Word of God describes the difficulties, the problems the righteous has to face in this world. The same reading from the Book of Wisdom is also read on the liturgy of the Good Friday, the Passion of our Lord. We see the fight between the righteous and the unrighteous. The unrighteous plan the destruction of the righteous, but the Lord in His great plan and destiny brings about the exaltation of the righteous in the hands of the unrighteous, just as He raised His Son after three days, victorious and triumphant over death and injustice of this world. In the Gospel today we see the Pharisees were not able to arrest Jesus because His hour has not yet come. In the Gospel of John, the hour of Jesus means the time of glorification, which is the crucifixion. Unlike in the Synoptic Gospel, in the Gospel of John, whenever the Lord referred his moment of crucifixion, it was a moment of glory. That's why in the Passion Prediction of the Gospel of John, our Lord says, When you lift up the Son of Man, he will draw all people to himself. Therefore, the moment of crucifixion in the Gospel of John is the moment of the utmost glorification of Jesus. That's why, unlike in the Synoptic Gospel, when in the last words of Jesus is Elohi, Elohi, Lama, Sabakthami My Father, My Father, why have you forsaken me? Or into your hands I commend my spirit. In the Gospel of John, the last word of Jesus on the cross is It is finished. Because Jesus fulfills the prophecies of the Old Testament and the redemptive plan of salvation of God. Therefore, the moment of crucifixion is the moment of the highest glory, glorification of Jesus. Therefore, let us not be afraid of the difficulties, challenges that we have to face for standing for justice and truth. Let us follow the example of Jesus, the faithful witness, so that having troubled, having persecuted by the unrighteous, we may be raised to glory by the right hand of the Father. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.